Let's see. How does one record something like nowadays in today's world of technology? Well, for me, I just normally use these. A VCR and another VCR. Basically, a, I would say like a double VCR combo, I would say. I normally use my Sanyo forehead hi-fi VCR. Uh, well, let's see. I normally use my Sanyo VWM800 hi-fi stereo VCR. Then my Omnivision, hi, um, Omnivision VHS forehead hi-fi stereo VCR. Sorry about not seeing it clearly, but this is what I basically use. And for the video output, this. Turn it on over here. Channel 3, and let's turn on the first VCR over here, with the original remote control that I have for my, for my Sanyo. And it works. Getting a signal. Good. Let's turn it on. Let's load it into, well, let's see, of course for me, I'm just going to use like a random videotape, uh, Scotch EGT120 VHS tape, and this is what I'm basically using. Of course, if I'm correct, it used to have the Karate Kid on here. It used to, until I recorded over it, by basically just using tape. I just covered the tab. Simple as like that. Let's load it into here. a little bit old, but let's see. Let's see if it's good. On the other hand, let's see what's on here because I have not looked at this in ages over here. About good for some years. Let's see what the heck's on here. Oh, well then. <laughs> They held, they had the old digital adapter. Huh. It's old. Go to channel 4 real quick. Quite a bit of it over. Since it was like an old, old episode of World's Dumbest, which I think it's like a mono, I'm not even sure, honestly. Is it mono, stereo? I don't really know. Let's see. I think it's mono. Okay, let's record this over since this is old. Like, really old. Like, old, old. Hard to do that with the camera in my way. There we go. Call it over and see if I can get stereo over here real quick. It's recording. Yep, it's recording. Stop it over here real quick.
back to here. And yeah, the video is like a little bit old. The video can set itself is a little bit... Yeah. Old. I can get stereo now. Let's see, normal hi fi. Yep. I think I just need to clean out the video head a little bit. I think I need to like clean out the video head over here a little bit. Okay, I grabbed out my video head cleaner, my Maxil VP100 video head cleaner, and of course, I've used it quite a bit, as you can tell. Yeah, I've used it this much. Since I have a lot of video cassettes on, sometimes the video head can be a little bit finicky. See if it'll work now. <laughs> okay, let's play it. That was short. Oh, don't be complaining to me. Don't be complaining to me now. That's when it does that. And you hear that? Yeah, it is not like that. You checked it over here? Yeah, my VCR does not like this kind of video head cleaner. It does not. It just does not like it. I think I prefer the old VCR head cleaner that I used to that I used to have over here. I mean, I used to have it, but not really anymore since the tape snapped a long time ago. Okay, this is like my third attempt over here already. Because for me, this time I'm gonna be trying out a Sony T120. Yep, T120. To the VCR, and hopefully, the video head is actually. Hopefully, the video recording content is good. I wonder what the heck is on this tape, anyways. Okay. Okay, I try I tried with the, every other video cassette I have because I found one that actually has like some of my old programming which was well of course for me I'm gonna be using World's well, Dumbest as an example. And well, how does one do that? Like, how does one skip the commercials? Well for me, I just do it basically well like this. Number one, dumb Well for me, I basically just do it my way. My way of things. Center in Arkansas, an employee is hiding somewhere in this warehouse. 
and is planning on giving his boss the fright of his life. Dude, what are you, out of your mind? Look around you. You got a dream job. You work at a beer distribution center. Don't F this up. Because this is how, that's how I basically do it. I just stop the recording. I just stop the recording. And then when it, well, for me, I, I basically just do it like this. I just let the show go. Then when it goes to the commercial, boom, I stop it. And then when it starts again, I press record. Then repeat. Like so. I basically just do that. Check the tape out of here. And there we go. We're done. And we're basically, well, yeah, done.